what's up, Rotten? With the new Apple Pencil announced, there are now four in the official lineup. Huh? What do you mean this looks confusing to you? I know you're trolling, but okay, I'll buy it and break it down for you anyway. So, the Apple Pencil first generation is the oldest stylus here, and it is compatible with every current iPad in the lineup, but not natively. Since every current iPad sports a USB-C port, you would need an Apple USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter to charge and pair it. Just like every other Apple Pencil, it's precise with low latency and tilt support. One thing it does have that not all of them do is pressure sensitivity. And because of this one feature, it makes this almost 10 year old stylus still relevant today. Why you ask? It's because the next pencil in the lineup, the Apple Pencil USB-C released just last year does not support pressure sensitivity. Feel free to watch my other Apple Pencil video for more details. And in case you're wondering, no, I'm still not over it. What this pencil has, however, that the Apple Pencil first generation doesn't is the ability to magnetically attach to iPads, much like the Apple Pencil second generation and the Apple Pencil Pro. The difference is unlike the Apple Pencil second generation and the Apple Pencil Pro, attaching the Apple Pencil USB-C doesn't charge or pair it. You would still need a USB-C cable. It does, however, support the Apple Pencil hover feature, which is something the Apple Pencil first generation doesn't have and is a feature only compatible with M2 iPad Pros and beyond. Now I know the whole lightning cable and USB-C ordeal can be a little annoying. We've all been kind of stuck in this USB-C and lightning lifestyle for a while now, and having to carry multiple wires to charge devices made by the same company is never fun. Good thing the folks over at Xcool make switching between USB-C and lightning way less of a headache with their four-in-one USB-C cable. That's right, this unique cable makes it possible to charge a lightning device or a USB-C device with just a flick of the cover. Now, you can charge and sync your devices without the hassle of switching between multiple cables. It can also adapt to whichever adapter you decide to use, whether it's USB-A or USB-C. The Cable Monster title is not just for show, considering that it supports 100 watts fast charging, meaning you can easily charge a MacBook Pro from 0 to 50% in just half an hour, and data transfer speeds up to 480 megabits per second. Considering the cable is also nylon braided, its durability will be more than enough for everyday use. So if you're interested in living a simpler cable life, check out the link in the description below. And thank you Xcool for sponsoring this video. The next one in the lineup, the Apple Pencil second generation, not only supports every feature of the Apple Pencil first generation, but it also supports every feature of the Apple Pencil USB-C. The difference in its magnetic attachment feature is that it also pairs and charges exclusively that way, meaning that there's no port to plug into. So the iPads supporting the Apple Pencil second generation are more limited. The newest entry level iPad, the iPad 10th gen, can support the magnetic attachment of the Apple Pencil second generation, but it cannot charge or pair it. Therefore, it is not compatible. But every other iPad currently in the lineup that is out right now does support it. Two extra features that the Apple Pencil second generation has that the previous two Apple Pencils mentioned don't are the ability to get it custom engraved by Apple and the double tap feature. The only other Apple Pencil that has these extra features is the Apple Pencil Pro set to release on May 15th. This is considered the ultimate definitive Apple Pencil. It even comes in one of five unique boxes. The Apple Pencil Pro isn't compromising at all. It can do everything every other Apple Pencil mentioned before can do except charge via cable, like the Apple Pencil first generation and the Apple Pencil USB-C. The Apple Pencil Pro's exclusive features are the barrel roll feature, the ability to squeeze it to switch tools, haptic feedback, and find my support. Now the only catch is that it isn't compatible with any iPad that has ever been released ever. That's right, the iPad you currently have right now can't use it. The only iPads that can are the iPads also set to release on May 15th, which are the 11 and 13 inch M2 iPad Airs and the 11 and 13 inch M4 iPad Pros. If you're wondering why the M2 iPad Pros can't use it, but the M2 iPad Airs can, well, longer answer. The M2 iPad Airs and the M4 iPad Pros have a different camera placement. Smack dab in the middle of the iPad, where the magnets supporting the iPad Pencil second generation would be. So the magnets were probably placed somewhere else, where the magnets on the Apple Pencil second generation wouldn't reach. This means that the Apple Pencil second generation will not be compatible with the M2 iPad Airs or the M4 iPad Pros. Now, shorter answer, f you, that's why. 
Hope this all made sense. Shout out to my Brighton Pro patrons, Vasco and Fransco Beck for supporting me on Patreon. Options to support me will be in the links provided below. I'm also currently doing an app giveaway on my Mac apps video, so give it a watch to find out more. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of me, you know what to do. We currently have four iPads in the lineup and four Apple Pencils in the lineup, but ironically, none of them are really lined up. You get what I'm saying? Oh, and I have some stuff to say about those iPads too. Stay tuned.